Are all three teams ready now? Bangalore, Chandigarh, and Hyderabad? Are you all there in the classroom? Can you put the audio on? Audio is on. Can someone take the from each of those three teams? Anyone? Yes, from Hyderabad. Hi. Uh, have you set up one enrollment center? You got two, right? Two machines. Hyderabad, have you set the uh, biometric devices? Have you attached them? It's ready. It's ready, right? Okay. Yeah. And Bangalore? Yeah, it's ready, so. Okay, and Hyderabad, uh, sorry, Chandigarh? Hello? Yes. Ready, sir. Have you set up an enrollment? Oh, it's ready. Okay. Yes, sir. First, all of you have seen how to connect those devices onto the uh, machine. All the operators also have seen that. Yeah. Okay. Let me show a few things that we need to take care of while uh, we are um, no at this point don't show the powerpoint i'll just come to it give me a minute give me one minute yeah I can show show the PowerPoint to them. Great. Okay. All the three teams you are seeing the PowerPoint. Yes. Great. All of you can see there is something called as a pre enrollment mode. Yeah, yes. Above login. And that was not present in one point two. The client version one, it is present in 1.3. Uh, the person who is handling the enrollment center from all three of your uh, locations, can you check please? Can you show them this particular part, the pre-enrollment mode checkbox? Can I see the video and the PowerPoint simultaneously? All three of those. Yeah, okay. All the three, uh, ah, okay, great. Can all of you see this? The pre enrollment mode um, checkbox? Can, can Bangalore tell me what is the difference between getting into the Aadhaar screen, that is, getting into the Aadhaar client using the pre enrollment mode and without using the pre enrollment mode? Somebody in Bangalore, can you say that? Bangalore audio. Bangalore. Hello. Yeah, pre yes, Bangalore. Can someone we can, say that? Yeah, pre-enrollment mode is where we can uh, just data entry and save the file 
and uh, retrieve it later by typing uh -huh. that pre-enrollment ID. Okay. So what kind of data is entered in pre-enrollment mode? That is the demographic data, the name, address, uh, everything. And here as well okay. as the bank details. Bank details. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So is it only the demographic and the bank details, nothing else? Can I not enter some of the biometric data? No, no, no. The biometrics can, uh, so we can capture. In the pre-enrollment mode? So I'm right now logging in as the pre-enrollment uh, mode. I'm clicking on and see what the uh, what the message comes. Application will be running in pre-enrollment mode until you log off. Now, first of all, do you see, let the screen come up, there's a little time lag. For all three teams, when you enter, have the files been uploaded? One thing, who's got it? Um, Chandigarh, I have sent a set of files. Um, I'm good, I have sent it to all three of the centers, but Chandigarh, I, uh, uh, my uh, engineers over here are saying that you have already got the file. There are some CBT files, some PowerPoint files, etc. Can one of you confirm, please, that you have got those files? I've sent some training documents and some CBTs, computer-based training software. I'm sorry. I can't hear you. Chandigarh, can you repeat that, please? Hello. Hello. Chandigarh, uh, uh, three कौन सी एक नहीं रिसीव हुई है पूरा एक फोल्डर था फोल्डर में बहुत सारे सब फोल्डर्स थे आ, आ, एक मॉड्यूल हो गया है दो पीपीटी हो चुकी है एक मॉड्यूल पेंडिंग है वो नहीं रिसीव हुआ है एक फोल्डर रिसीव नहीं हुआ है अच्छा ही विल चेक इट बट देन माय प्रॉब्लम इज आई एम नॉट गेटिंग द Start a uh, give me one minute, please. There's a little bit of hitch. I want to show the other client, but it's not coming. You see that? Okay. Now I want you to see the three cons on the bottom left where my mouse cursor is at this time. The three icons. So do you see the three icons in the pre enrollment mode? I have right now logged in into Aadhaar, the Aadhaar client, in the pre enrollment mode. So do you see the three icons? That is the Second one, the iris scan. Third one, the slap scanner. All three icons have been crossed out. Bangalore, do you get to see it? At the bottom left of that screen. See this? Bottom left. Yeah, we can see it. Right? Why do you think they have been crossed out? Bangalore? Yeah, because we are in a pre-enrollment mode, the resident will not be present there to capture the uh, biometrics data. We are, uh, before enrollment, uh, actual enrollment, we are uh, saving the data through pre-enrollment mode so that we can save time Absolutely. when the actual resident comes. Absolutely. So what is in the pre-enrollment mode? What is this application number, Hyderabad?
Ya Hyderabad, I'm waiting for your answer. One point three point three point zero. Huh? Application number, ma'am, on the top right. Application number. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pointing it. What is the meaning it's of the term application number? ID. No, that is on the left. What is application number? The application number is the form which uh, the number will be there where the person enroll, uh, the resident is going to fill up that form number is the application number. Absolutely. But it is a must. Application number, as you just said, has been written on the form, the printed form, where the enrollee, the resident, has filled up his information. So that is the number that we are talking about over here. Everyone clear on that? Let's move on to banking. In the pre-enrollment stage, we do have a, a, a tab for banking. Yeah, uh, we discuss banking a little bit more in a little greater detail and review. Okay, uh, if you notice in the review screen, the photograph, iris, and fingerprints, these things are not to be captured. Got that? And there's a save button over here do you see this save button at the bottom right there's a save button this save button does not exist in the I mean it is not activated in the enrollment mode it is there in the pre enrollment mode so that is what I wanted to show you now let me log off this and let me log on to the enrollment mode now all of you in your respective centers that whoever is taking care of the enrollment uh, stations please log off the pre enrollment mode Please log on to the enrollment mode. Got it? All of you do that, please, in your respective centers. Is it visible for all of you in your centers? You have to give it to me again, the application sharing thing. There. Do you see uh, the Aadhaar client at the enrollment mode? This is not the pre-enrollment, this is the enrollment mode. Do you notice on the bottom left, you have all the icons activated? Sure. You'll have to say yes or no, please, for uh, uh, this thing. Center. Yes. Yes, yes, sir. Yeah? Cool. Yep, yeah, cool. Yeah. Okay. So I want all of you to fill up this uh, demographic data in your respective centers. I want you to fill up the demographic data. Forget the pre-enrollment ID. Forget the application number. Obviously, they will not be there. We will just fill up the name. So give an example. So whoever is uh, taking charge of the uh, various uh, enrollment stations, please fill up the demographic details. Can you show me the videos? All three. I would expect that uh, people in their respective uh, 
um, locations are actually entering that data. Can you keep the voice on, please, so that I can uh, hear what you are saying? All the three centers. Yes. yes, sir. Yes, from Hyderabad. We are entering the data. We are entering the data right now. Bangalore, is everything okay? Yeah, we are doing the data entry. Okay, and what about Chandigarh? Chandigarh, can you get the mic close to you, please? Whoever's talking. <coughs> Chandigarh, I don't hear audio from your side. No, can't yes, sir. Them. Yes, okay. sir. Are you entering the demographic data? Okay. Yes, sir. Are you doing that on the screen? I mean, how are so many people seeing, watching the screen right now? Have you connected uh, your uh, enrollment station to the projector? Chandigarh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. So all of you have entered the name, you have entered the gender, nothing new to uh, say over here. What is the difference between age or DOB? Chandigarh, that field, what is the difference between age and DOB? Yeah, Chandigarh. I need the explanation of that field. No, your audio is not coming, Chandigarh. Hello? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. What's the difference? Uh, sir, a age or DOP may difference here. Uh huh? Uh, sir, just a kissy person company date of birth confirmed here. Uh huh. To open age. लिखवा देता वहां पर ओके okay. अप्रोक्सीमेटली जो उसकी एज है वो वहां पे शो करवा देता हूं फिर एज में उसकी जैसे उसको अपनी डेट ऑफ बर्थ कंफर्म नहीं जैसे उसको पता है कि मेरी एज 65 है हां हां तो हम एज एज वाले कॉलम में 65 लिख देंगे ओके okay. जब आप वो करते हो ऑन द राइट डू यू सी 1946 ऑटोमेटिकली कम यस सर वो अप्रोक्सीमेटली उसका मतलब वो हां ठीक I can click on this calendar over here. Hyderabad, tell me why do we have a verified checkbox? What's the difference between a verified checkbox and not having it? Yeah, if the resident having uh, appropriate documents like uh, uh, passport, uh, certificate, uh, data birth proof, then we will uh, take it as verified or else leave it blank. What are the documents which are which can be uh, which can be used as the verified? Yes, uh, passport, birth certificate, or SSA memo. Okay. And Group A guested officer certificate. Okay. Bangalore, Chandigarh, do you have anything to say about that? Verified documents, date of birth, verification. ठीक है सर हां को ओके नाउ व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन प्लस ओवर हियर डू यू सी दैट प्लस ओवर देयर सिंपल कांटेक्ट एंड एक्सटेंडेड कांटेक्ट पे क्या डिफरेंस है बेंगलोर टेल मी व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द प्लस देयर या सिंपल कांटेक्ट वे वी यूज इट फॉर रूरल एरियाज वेयर देयर इज नो क्रॉस मेन और लोकैलिटी दिस थिंग extended okay. uh, contact we use it for uh, the urban areas where they require yes. a door number mat number as well as cross uh, the address is little bit bigger absolutely right okay anyone has any questions on the simple contact and extended contact concept any of the teams cool let's move on why do we have anything like a save address 
What is save address? Save address is where uh, if the uh, uh, same fam uh, mem members from the same family come in, we take that save address so that uh, the address gets uh -huh. uh, saved. So we can uh, doing the demographic data. Absolutely right. Now there is a problem over here that some operators are actually doing. What is happening is even if people are not from the same family and they definitely don't live in the same house. They keep on clicking on save address and they kind of accept the previous person's address. This is an error which an operator needs to look out for. We need to stop such a thing happening. Okay, so for all the teams, one of the problems. Next is, of course, the PO box, the pin code, the pin code. So let's say I say I give the pin code as 248. Zero, zero, 001. So I say 2480. The moment I say that, I get a help of all the pin codes. 24800. The moment I say that, I get the help of all the pin codes. Oh, pin codes are not appearing. There's a list box there. I have shared it, yeah, several times. Yeah. See, I have said two four eight zero. Do you see all the give me a minute. We're trying to share the desktop. Yeah. Is that maximize it? Just maximize. Audio band, I guess. Okay, give me a minute. Oh, yeah, I started. Okay, yet again, what I was going to show you is 24800. Do you see the list of um, pin codes which come up automatically? So let's say I see the first one. Press tab. And I get to see the auto help for quite a lot of uh, places with that particular uh, ID, uh, pin code. Now question to all the teams. Can I increase or can I add a new name over here for the pin code? Any of the teams? Uh, let's have Hyderabad answer this. Hyderabad, can I add a new name over here? Yes, we can. We can? Okay, tell me yeah. how. There is an add option. Where is that? Uh, there is village, town, city, there we can add, add new. That is not what I'm asking. I'm asking. Where... Give me a minute. Uh, okay, uh, till the audio is there, I can keep talking. So, what I'm asking is, audio is there? Okay, what I'm asking is, can I add it over there? When I type 248001, can I add 
a new name under the same pin code i am not saying a village town or city i am saying over no, here add nahi kar sakte sir exactly add nahi kar sakte bangalore do you agree no we cannot add it sir thank you so it is not possible to add it over here if you want to add a village town city there is an add new village separate but under a pin code you cannot possibly add a new name over here got it so that's that's important so let's say i select gujara press tab and now next point the son of daughter of concept we've already been through that that should not be a problem uh so that is that is that's very important so that should uh, be there but this particular field is not a compulsory field okay so you need not give a care of son of wife of or daughter of if at all it is not there so a lot of operators are actually doing that they put a care of son of wife of daughter of that's a question which they are compulsorily doing you don't have to do that okay then area locality sector nothing much in there do you have any problems in the address field any of the centers if you have please ask right now there's nothing else that i can say here we've already discussed the transliteration issue let's go on to verification chandigarh what is the difference between these three uh, radio buttons that you have there documents introducer head of the family in me kya fark hai chandigarh या चंडीगढ़ हेलो हेलो यस प्लीज टॉक अगर हम डॉक्यूमेंट चूज करते हैं हां अगर हम डॉक्यूमेंट्स पे सिलेक्ट करते हैं तो हमको पीओआई और पीओए लगाना पड़ता है अगर हम हेड ऑफ द फैमिली पे सिलेक्ट करेंगे तो हमें हेड ऑफ द फैमिली का ईआईडी नंबर डेट और टाइम देना पड़ेगा सिर्फ और हेड ऑफ द फैमिली का थंब भी लगेगा उनका भी रेफरेंस जाएगा सिर्फ यू आई डी आधार नंबर ही चाहिए या एनरोलमेंट नंबर और डेट से भी हो जाएगा हाँ एनरोलमेंट नंबर और डेट से भी हो जाएगा एग्जैक्टली exactly. so, अगर हेड ऑफ द फैमिली अगर हम लोग एनरोल करते हैं पूरे फैमिली को तो सबसे पहले हेड ऑफ द फैमिली को एनरोल करना है दैट्स द बॉटम लाइन अगर हम एक साथ पूरे फैमिली को एनरोल कर रहे हैं तो वी विल सिलेक्ट हेड ऑफ द फैमिली एंड वी विल देन डू दिस नाउ What is this proof of relationship, Chandigarh? ये क्या है? Yes. Proof of Chandigarh. Chandigarh PDF card mean PDF. हाँ हाँ. हाँ. Okay. Ration card with M yeah, yeah, job here. card. एम नरेगा जॉब कार्ड है ई एस आई गवर्नमेंट मेडिकल कार्ड पेंशनर कार्ड पूरी फैमिली की फोटो होती है पेंशन कार्ड आर्मी कैंटीन कार्ड पासपोर्ट है पासपोर्ट पे स्पाउस का नाम होता है फादर और मदर का नाम होता है एनी अदर सेंट्रल स्टेट गवर्नमेंट इशूड फैमिली डॉक्यूमेंट हाँ उनके बच्चों बच्चों का नाम हाँ बच्चों का नाम भी होता है फिर पासपोर्ट पे मदर और फादर का नाम होता है अगर अच्छा। बच्चों का पासपोर्ट होगा तो अच्छा एनी अदर कार्ड हैविंग नेम एंड फोटो इशूड बाय डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ पोस्ट किसी पोस्ट डिपार्टमेंट right. से ओके सर दैट्स राइट सो ये बहुत जरूरी चीज है दैट हमें नाम भी चाहिए और फोटोग्राफ भी चाहिए ये दोनों चीजें जरूरत है इसके लिए लिखा है लास्ट में एड्रेस कार्ड हैविंग नेम एंड फोटो इशूड बाय द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ अच्छा Bangalore. Who is the introducer? What do you understand by the term introducer? Uh, introducer is one who is appointed by the registrar. Uh, okay. For he will uh, come in the picture when the the, the resident does not have any document with him. That is a POA or a POA. 
a introducer I gives his documentation and his aadhar uh -huh. number and introduces uh -huh. that resident confirms that yeah this can, person can be enrolled got it got it okay okay so introducer requires an aadhar number or is it possible to just have the enrollment id of no. an introducer no 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 aadhar number is compulsory for the introducer absolutely which means that every introducer necessarily must have an aadhar number yeah okay so guys please fill up the uh, demographic screen now chandigarh information sharing consent ke kya matlab hai ye jo dikha hai information sharing consent chandigarh audio hmm acha uh hyderabad what is the difference between what is this information sharing consent hyderabad yeah information sharing is depends upon the resident whether he wants to share his information or he he wants to put it a confidential what is that i mean this is uh, evident from these three words but can you explain supposing a, a resident were to come in front of you and he asks you what is information sharing consent what do you mean by that Yeah, Hyderabad. Tell me. I said like an How example. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. We can take an example like a financial inclusion. If you share your information with other register, then they can uh -huh. take your uh, details and uh, provide you the. You you can be a beneficiary of that. Like what? So, what kind of beneficiary? Uh, like a bank account. If you want to say, uh, like, like if I'm a, if I'm staying in a remote area, okay. and i i i have okay. shared my bank account with the registrar then the whatever ah. government facility will i be beneficiary i'll get from that in okay. that account also that's that's it okay okay so information sharing consent only has to deal with bank accounts because if i say information sharing consent as no and i click on the banking tab this should be disabled right according to you yes sir but it is not disabled so hyderabad yes, can sir, you explain uh, yeah yeah sir biometric details as well as uh... no chandigarh chandigarh is still disconnected is it okay. no chandigarh aap me se koi bata sakte ho yeah every every type demographic information sharing ha ha okay usse kya hoga a government ko bhi scheme lati hai koi bhi wo planning karti hai to wo is information ko use kar sakti hai aur yes karega enrollment wala jo enrollment karane aa raha hai agar wo yes karta hai to wo government usse sari information le sakti hai absolutely usse enrollee ko kya benefit hoga enrollee ko benefit ye hoga ki kal se future mein koi bhi planning hoti hai government ki to usme usko participate milega Nikhil from uh, Chandigarh, uh, Nikhil, right? Uh, the trainer from Chandigarh. Can you explain that in English, please, for the benefit of Bangalore and Hyderabad? Am I audible? Yes, Hello? you are. Please continue. 
Just explain right, whatever they, he said. They, they mean that mean that uh, some kind of government subsidiary schemes right whatever they are introduced they can take benefits from the, those government subsidized schemes right for how? example in, right mm -hmm. how i said well as the as the details will be you know they this data as it is connected with the cidr then it will be direct, it will be also connected the details will be with the government so that's why you know if they can take benefit from the government subsidized schemes for example now uh, okay uh, yeah 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 y
So please don't accept that. The, uh, the bottom three icons are going to be crossed. I just showed that to you in the pre-enrollment mode. Okay. Another thing is the following tabs are going to get disabled in the pre-enrollment mode. There's nothing like a confirmation. There's nothing like a correction. And there's nothing like export data. Also, there's no configuration and so on. Right. So that's what we have shown there. All these things are going to be disabled. All these tabs are going to be disabled in the uh, pre-enrollment mode. Okay. So enrollment tab. There are two sub menus, as all of you know, the new and the correction. In uh, Aadhaar version, client version 1.2, those things were not there. In 1.3.3.0, we do have those two tabs. Similarly, confirm tab is also available for our, you can, all of you can click on the confirm tab and see. Yeah, there's a verify and a review, which is there for confirm. Similarly, there's a data tab, it was not there before. Now we have a data tab and we have an export data and an import data. Then we have the settings tab where we have configuration local biometric enrollment and about now bangalore what do we understand by configuration in the uh, in this tab in the settings tab bangalore can someone answer the means uh, where we enter that uh, id the enrollment agency id as well as the enrollment sorry, location no, first we enter uh, the register code and the station ID uh -huh. is the enrollment loca location okay. and then put, uh, okay. yeah, select the local language then we register the system uh, to the through, through to the CIDS server Correct. the uh, systems Mac ID get registered uh -huh. in the CIDS server yeah okay I'm showing the client right now yeah so there it is now do you see on the screen i am showing the settings for configuration system configuration settings do you see now let's take a look at several things now this particular machine has been configured this is a dummy machine i have configured it do you see on the bottom left of the screen bottom left do you see first i have got a registrar name for you guys you will probably get some other registrar name i've got a test registrar name there so that is what i see Okay, do you see the UI, uh, UIDAI test enrollment? That's the agency code. You see that as well. Then you see the name of the person who's logged in and the station number. And finally, my machine number, the Mac ID. Okay, so you see all of those in the bottom left of the screen. Yeah. So, uh, all of us can see that enrollment location will also come, but since uh, this is a test machine, that's why I'm not getting it. But other than that, uh, the rest of the settings are to be done. Now, can someone tell me who does the settings, the system configuration, and how many times do I need to do it for an enrollment center? Bangalore? Uh, it has to be registered once before starting the enrollment process. Absolutely, and who does it? Hyderabad? Hyderabad, who's responsible for doing this system configuration? Enrollment agency, sir. Hi, who in enrollment agency? Who? Technical the CEO of the enrollment? Sorry? Sir. Absolutely. The tech support will be doing this and he configures he or she configures it just once at, as they mentioned okay so that is settings another aspect is called as local biometric enrollment so chandigarh is field ka is tab ka kya mahatva hai local biometric enrollment in settings ye kab hota hai Hello. 
इसमें पर्टिकुलर ये आएगा कौन सा ऑपरेटर उसका आईडी वगैरह उसमें लिखा जाएगा आईडी वगैरह दिखाया जाएगा ओके नो कैन यू एक्सप्लेन दिस ये ऑपरेटर ऑन बोर्ड है सुपरवाइजर ऑन बोर्ड है और बोर्ड है इसका क्या महत्व है चंडीगढ़ ऑडियो नहीं है क्या आई एम नॉट ऑन वीडियो राइट या चंडीगढ़ ओके बैंगलोर या बैंगलोर व्हाट व्हाट इज द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ ऑपरेटर ऑन बोर्ड सुपरवाइजर ऑन बोर्ड इंट्रोड्यूसर ऑन बोर्ड सो ऑपरेटर ऑन बोर्ड इज मींस द ऑपरेटर हु इज गोइंग टू यूज द सिस्टम एंड द सुपरवाइजर ऑन बोर्ड इज द सुपरवाइजर हु एट द एंड ऑफ द डे कंफर्म्स एंड वेरीफाइज दिस हु विल बी ऑन बोर्ड ऑन द सिस्टम एंड द इंट्रोड्यूसर इंट्रोड्यूसर इज वन हु इज अलॉटेड फॉर दैट लोकेशन who introduces right. a resident who does not have any documents so his uh, authentication has to be done in the system how many times one time when uh, before the enrollment process starts absolutely authentication exactly what do you mean for example for operator on board bangalore what is it that i need to give over here in the screen that you see in front of you let's say the operator on board is suboth So yeah, what is the have, information they have to give? Yeah. Ah, uh, we have to enter if there is available operator Aadhaar number is available. We enter the time uh, Aadhaar number and click on uh, the capture button. And uh, what if the Aadhaar number is not available? If it is not available, uh, we will do him partially enrolled. Okay. Okay. We uh, give us uh, your thumbs uh, first finger confirmation. Uh, or if any of the fingers, ten fingers, he can give us uh, for okay. confirmation. so that you has to use that same fingers uh, in the review screen also when he finishes that enrollment to for confirmation okay yeah okay and the same for supervisor same for introducer yeah yeah same But process for is for introducer and aadhar number is essential number is a must yeah aadhar number exactly. is a must for the introducer all introducers necessarily will have aadhar numbers that is a must so all introducers have got it chandigarh and bangalore did you understand Yeah, Chandigarh. Did you understand what uh, uh, this thing? What's it from? Hello. Uh, bank? Yeah. Chandigarh, आपको समझ में आया? अभी जो बोला उन्होंने? नहीं नहीं समझ आया सर कनेक्शन नहीं था इधर. Repeat करने को. Yeah. Can you repeat that, please? What he just said. Sir, uh, uh, that is uh, where we uh, put the operator on. Uh, that is on board uh -huh. means uh, we authenticate the operator who is going to use the system uh, if he has got correct. aadhar number we'll put his in aadhar number and uh, give his confirmation thumbs confirmation correct. if it is not as correct. aadhar number we will uh, do it partially enrolled the same for a supervisor okay. uh, we will fo follow the same method but for introducer uh, his aadhar number is come uh, before okay chandigarh we are going to deal with this particular tab a lot more tomorrow today is just an introduction to this particular tab because for operators this is not very important this stage that is settings biometric onboarding is done just once at the time uh, before enrollment can even begin because you have several operators you have several supervisors and maybe one or more introducers as well all of them must be registered in this particular machine this machine must know that this is the operator whose fingerprint needs to be stored so after every enrollment before a packet can be generated the operator's fingerprint any finger can be used typically the first finger is used uh, of the left hand and right hand and so on so typically those are used for the operator as well as for the supervisor but for an introducer fingerprints of course are needed at the same time the aadhar number of the introducer is also captured so when an introducer says that i have i have verified that this person 
is a proper uh, resident and I certify that his he is his data is correct then the introducer at the end of the day also has to put in his uh, fingerprint and this is where it will get mapped. okay so I'm going back now to the demographic screen let us say I finished the demographic screen after that I go to the banking screen okay can uh, Bangalore explain what does the banking scheme this particular tab have to do? I mean, supposing uh, you uh, have uh, a Mr. Sandeep? in front of you. Yeah. Hello. Yes. Uh, this is Pankaj from Chandigarh. Uh, a question uh -huh. is जैसे अभी ऑन बोर्ड जैसे ऑपरेटर से मान के चलते हैं क्या एक सुपरवाइजर भी ऑपरेटर की तरह काम कर सकता है मशीन पे सुपरवाइजर कैन डू इट देयर इज नो स्टॉपिंग दैट बट टिपिकली सुपरवाइजर दैट्स नॉट हिज रोल बट कैन ही डू इट यस ही कैन डू इट फिर उसको कौन वेरीफाई करेगा को, अगर कोई एक्सेप्शनल केस आता तो कोई दूसरा या सी इफ इट इज अ सुपरवाइजर ही वुड हैव लॉग्ड इन हिमसेल्फ Yes, sir. Got it. Typically, in in these enrollment agencies, it is always the operator who works and the supervisor who gives the uh, you know the final verification. So let us use that as a role and let us not uh, stress you know across in this kind of a training that you know anybody can do anybody's work. Let's not uh, encourage that. So that's the reason why I'm kind of brushing that aside and I'm saying that uh, the uh, let the operator work for enrollment and let the supervisor uh, work for uh, verifying yeah okay. authenticating yeah okay thank you banking uh hyderabad can you explain what this tab is about banking hyderabad someone please take the mic yeah Yes, sir. Here, banking details. If president wants to open a new banking bank account through UIDI, uh, huh? he can. But if he want to share his own bank account, he can share. By uh, if he giving his own bank account, then we will use the no tab, uh, radio, uh, no radio button, and give the details of his bank account. Okay. So, is it if possible for me? Is yes, it possible yes. for me to select no over here? And not give any bank details. Hyderabad. No. No. no uh, when, you, when you yes, tell me. So if I say, that, look, look at the screen right now. I have said no over there, but I am not giving any bank details there. Yeah, no problem. We can go ahead. I can go ahead. Yes. Because okay. uh, at the top, uh, top, you can see that green mark in banking. That means it's uh -huh. alone. Okay, so what does it mean that the 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 resident does not want it's to not open a new mandatory. account? It, it's not mandatory to give the bank details of a resident. Exactly. So now you understand that the operator has seen that it is not mandatory, and he goes on, right? So Hyderabad, tell me, how will you convince the resident that opening a bank account or linking an existing bank account will be beneficial to the resident? What will you say which will convince the resident? Hyderabad. Yeah, we can say that uh, beneficials will come to the bank. So if he wants to open, he can. Like this, so we uh, finance. Just like financial uh, benefits, inclusion. Uh, Bangalore, can you throw some more light on this? Because as a resident, I will be convinced. You are just telling some kind of benefit will come. What kind of benefit will come if I open an account or I link my existing account? Bangalore. Yeah, Bangalore, you can talk. Audio link. Now he is talking. Any benefits uh, provided from the government? Uh, no, Sorry, government, any benefits? Uh, no, no, give me some solid names. Don't just generally talk in the air. Subsi subsidies, uh, subsidies uh, which uh, which the resident is in, uh, entitled for. Uh, will okay. be uh, to, with, with maybe monetary benefits. Uh, it will get deposited okay. into his account. 
uh, like what, what? Say, what kind of say, uh, say is using a solar this thing so the uh-huh. uh, the government uh, allowed him some money for saving electricity uh-huh. or anything so that uh, can be deposited to his account as well as if uh, use some other uh, these things uh, or uh, subsidies uh, for uh, gas connections or anything like okay. that uh, this will be get a uh, uh, deposited into his account so you can convince him that uh, it help him, it help the resident in the future uh, so if he utilizes this benefit chandigarh अब आप थोड़े से और कुछ बोलिए इन्होंने तो गैस कनेक्शन के बारे में बताया है आप क्या कहना चाहेंगे आप रेसिडेंट को क्या बोलना चाहेंगे कि आप अपना बैंक का अकाउंट खोलिए या तो फिर एक अपना जो है खा, खाता वो इस पर लिंक बताना चाहेंगे रेसिडेंट को सर नरेगा से कनेक्ट हो जाएगा सर से कनेक्ट हो जाएगा नरेगा नरेगा स्कीम स्कीम है ना सर जो तो नरेगा हुआ और क्या क्या स्कीम और क्या क्या स्कीम आ सकती है और क्या क्या हो सकती है चंडीगढ़ एक हुआ दूसरा क्या चंडीगढ़ सर राशन कार्ड जो सिम कार्ड वाले बनेंगे उनसे भी कनेक्ट हो जाएगा क्या होगा आई एम सॉरी फिर से बोलना राशन कार्ड क्या जो स्मार्ट कार्ड फिर बनने हैं ना अभी हाँ राशन कार्ड उनसे भी कनेक्ट हो जाएगा अच्छा एक और चीज है ओल्ड एज पेंशन मिलती है राइट वी ऑल गेट आई मीन अदोज ओल्ड पीपल कैन गेट पेंशन एंड पेंशन कैन बी क्रेडिटेड डायरेक्टली सिमिलरली देर आर मेडिकल बेनिफिट एज वेल पीपल गेट मेडिकल अलाउंस दैट कैन बी कनेक्टेड डायरेक्टली प्लस देर आर स्कीम्स फॉर एजुकेशन राइट लाइक स्कॉलरशिप स्कीम्स that money can also be credited directly to a child's account so let's say he is a child he may be 6 years old or 7 years old but he can get scholarship money directly on his account these are all the things that you need to stress when uh, you are talking about uh, the banking got that so don't just generally say that you will probably get some benefits actually say that you can have narega you can have the uh, employment uh, uh, sorry uh, the insurance scheme the national insurance scheme all those medical insurance and so on health insurance all of those things to the bank account yeah so guys please enter the banking details in your uh, locations Hello. after that yes sir chandigarh sir yes. this uh, the uh, kisi ki death ho jati hai maan lo aha uh-huh. तो उसकी पेंशन आ रही है सर तो दो तीन साल तक आती है सर वो यूआईडी में कैसे अपडेट होगा नहीं यहां से उसको कुछ बंद नहीं किया जा सकता ओके बट लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दैट जब ही हम एक बैंक का अकाउंट नंबर देते हैं वो अकाउंट नंबर आधार नंबर से जुड़ जाती है वन एवर वी गिव अ बैंक अकाउंट नंबर and we attach it to the aadhaar number the the uh, the resident he has he has said that he is okay for his aadhaar number to be attached then it is uh, after that it is up to the bank to verify whether the person is still alive or not most banks whenever they give pension they ask the resident to physically appear in the bank once a year in order for them to sign and ensure that uh, the uh, the person is alive got it that is called as the aliveness certificate most banks actually Hello? ask that to happen yes please continue hello sir hello yes yes i am here hello? i can hear sir, you sir bank wale verify karne to jaate nahi hai jo uh, gramin ilaka hai wahan par to bank verify nahi kar sakta hai to us reason kya hoga 
देखिए दैट इज नॉट समथिंग दैट आधार कैन डील विद आधार विल मेयरली लिंक इट एंड आधार कैन इंश्योर दैट इज अ स्मूथ फ्लो ऑफ मनी टू द बेनिफिशियरीज अकाउंट बट आफ्टर दैट टू वेरीफाई वेदर द पर्सन इज स्टिल अलाइव और नॉट दैट आधार और यू कैनॉट डील विद इट एट ऑल सो लेट्स नॉट इवन टेक दैट इन आवर कंसीडरेशन दैट इज नॉट पार्ट ऑफ आवर एनरोलमेंट और आधार नंबर जनरेशन the banks will have to find various ways of ensuring that the person is alive one of the ways is what i said some banks actually do that they ask the person to come once a year and sign up saying he is still alive chandigarh thank you sir okay let's move on to photograph for all the three uh, centers can all of you practice clicking a photograph all three of you move to the photograph tab can all of you practice taking photograph information Similarly, take the other three. Just keep it. All of you, just do it once so that uh, we can be sure that we are doing the photograph, iris scan, and the fingerprints properly. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Uh, Sandeep, so, uh, so there is a question coming up from the Chandigarh side. Right. it's regarding banking that uh, sometimes what happens uh, a citizen asks in 1.3 we can select uh, a list of bank correct right so a list of bank what if uh, he says that i want to uh, want an aadhar enabled bank to open up an account right but doesn't say about the name matlab kisi mein bhi khol jaye so how come an, an uh, you know uid comes up to a list of bank or kis bank mein khulega is there any kind of a region that within 5 km of radius any bank is there or is there any uh, preferred list of banks ki ha in mein se hi us region mein khulega so how can uh, how a uid jumps up to a you know particular bank ki theek hai jisne koi preference nahi di uh, he goes with that bank Let us understand that when I click on the bank, uh, this thing, or opening a new bank account, there will be some banks which are given in this list, as you see over here, right? Now, now point one. Whenever an enrollment agency opens up, the registrar ensures that the enrollment agency has a bank, one bank, at least one bank, which is close by in the vicinity. Now, does the operator have to decide that? Not at all. when an operator is taken in by the enrollment agency and he starts enrolling he gets that information saying that this is the bank which you need to select by default if the resident says that it is some other bank i want to open it in some other bank that's perfectly fine if it is available in that list the operator can select it but that is it by default every operator in the enrollment agency would be told that this could be one of the banks this is a default bank or else choose whatever is your question answered chandigarh no oh, th thank you and uh, so it, it means that a registrar has to identify a bank you know which will work as a default bank for that particular region because several enrollment agencies can be there in that region right and all uh -huh. the enrollment agencies are ultimately roll up to the right so the registrar decides that okay let's say bank of india is close to these 15 villages so let that be the default bank so the operator gets to know that the operator himself or herself does not need to find out okay what bank is it and so on in many cases banks themselves so, so, are the registrar 
So when a citizen asks, uh, says that uh, okay, yes, uh, open one up. Thing, a... One thing, uh, excuse me, one thing. We will not use the word citizen. It's a resident. A resident is a person yeah. who stays in India. Citizen is a person who holds the passport of India. They're two different things. Right, for we will always ask... use the word resident. If a resident yeah. says, uh, yes, open up a bank for me, uh -huh. uh, open up an account for me, right? And he uh -huh. asks that, this uh, account will open, this will open in which bank will open? So what an operator has to answer? So it could be any UIDI will identify and uh, a bank official will come. Is it like that? Uh, yes, that is the answer to that. Because uh, a default bank, as I just mentioned, that default bank has been told to the operator. The operator will just give the same name of the bank. After that, it is up to the bank official to care, to contact the resident. Okay, thank you. Got it? So you don't get into all that uh, details about how the bank account will be opened and so on. That is not in the scope of an, either an operator's or a supervisor's or even a, uh, you know, a trainer's uh, role. Okay, so just say there's a default bank, it will be opened and the bank officials will contact you. That is it. That's the bottom line. Or you have to go whatever. If there's a bank official present over there, he will give you further information. Got it? Let's move on, guys, to the iris scan. Please practice the iris scan. In my machine, there's a simulation which is start which has started. That's why you see that suddenly. You will get to see it practically on your machines. Please do the iris scan. Chandigarh, आपके पास कौन सा कंपनी का आईरिस स्कैनर है? Bangalore, which company's iris scanner do you have? We, uh, at Chandigarh, we have Crossmatch, Cogent, L1. We have three different companies. Wow, wow you guys are rich, man. What about Bangalore? Uh, we have got Crossmatch and Cogent. And Hyderabad? Yeah, we are using Crossmatch and L1. I'm sorry, cross match and what? L1. L1, okay. Yeah. I remember my first, yeah, L1. I remember my first ever training of Aadhaar. That was the first ever training in India, which uh, I uh, had for all the master trainers. At that time, I conducted it in Hyderabad. So, Hyderabad is a special center in that respect. Okay. Uh, you guys uh, finish the iris scan. And now let's go on for the fingerprints. Can you guys practice the fingerprints once? Have you got a green tick mark for uh, everything up to fingerprints till now? A green tick mark. Chandigarh, are all the tabs green ticked? Yes. Uh, Hyderabad? Hyderabad? 
Yes, done, sir. And Bangalore? Oh, yes, sir. Excellent. Now let's go back to the photograph tab. Let's click on the photograph tab again. I know it is green, but I want to show you something. Do you see this little um, OK button there over there, which has got three dots on the bottom right of the photograph? Click on that. Right? Are you familiar with this? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, on this particular thing, photograph quality summary details. Do you encourage your operators to take a look at this when they are not able to get the photograph properly? Yes. Okay. Hello. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, sometimes uh, everything will be okay. Everything will mm. still we will not able to get uh, uh, pass uh, marks the, this thing. Receive, uh, get the yeah, just recapture. Will... I know, I know, yeah. I know. I, that's yeah. uh, just a. Uh, see, there are actually the number of parameters which are being shown over here is a fraction of the number of parameters which are actually there. Okay, there are some 16 odd parameters which are there, but only a few have been shown here. Now, the, there is a reason why the remaining parameters have not been shown here because those are not directly under your control. The ones under your control have been shown over here, operator's control, right? So in such a case, just recapture that particular image. That is one reason why you should recapture. The second reason why you should recapture is when the operator himself or herself is not satisfied that uh, this is up to the mark, then again, you recapturing. Yeah, well, okay, I've got it's one better more to have quality. Yeah. Yeah, I've got one more doubt in this. Uh, example, okay. uh, first we uh, attempt to capture a photograph. Uh, by mistake, okay. the resident does not focus properly in, uh, towards the camera. Uh, we, but right. we get a percentage. Uh, but, uh, and, uh, and we recapture the this uh, resident's image once again. But when we take uh, go to review screen and as well as when we take a printout, only the uh, first image gets printed out and uh, shows in the review screen, but not actually the recaptured one where the resident is correctly focusing on the camera. The pay, the light is uh, properly focused. Uh, thing. Why is that? Yeah, even after you recapture, is it? Yeah, it does stop. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but sometimes uh, the residents uh, query about mm -hmm. that. Uh, so that photo is not proper. Why that does again? Same thing uh, so there are two things you can do like that. Okay. Uh, look, there are two things you can do. If the resident, if you go to the review screen and you find that the resident is not okay with the photograph that has come in, you can just cancel that particular uh, enrollment and re-enroll everything. That's one way that can work out. Okay. okay. In that case, the resident will have to begin from the beginning if the, that's what the resident wants. But let's also understand there are other residents waiting. So yeah. we can't keep on sitting with one person all the time. That's one aspect. Second is try to see if you can go to some other tab and come back to the photograph tab to see if you can recapture. That's another option that you can use. Chandigarh or whoever asked that question. So one more thing, uh -huh. uh, when we, we uh, went for a summary, uh, quality summary, there it is showing uh -huh. 80 to 85 percentage, but even after here on okay. the main screen, it's uh, giving fail, photo capture is fail. Okay. okay. Yeah, here, top, uh, top one, 76 percent, right? There we can see Correct. 80 to 85 percentage, it's fine, okay? Correct. But uh, Correct. in main, main screen, it's giving us fail. No percentage, Correct. but it's giving fail. Correct. Uh, in such a case, try to figure out uh, in this particular screen if anything is red or not. If it isn't, just recapture. 
to see which are the least uh, uh, numbers that you see eye distance is not okay or bad lighting or whatever and try to recap see this is not an exact uh, screen you may not get the exact answer that you are seeking for if the operator or the pass fail shows a fail recapture that's the bottom line okay don't try to go very deep into each of these numbers you'll just get lost ultimately it's a human being which finds out whether the photograph is up to the mark or not okay so tell that to the operator okay yeah and the same goes for iris scan and fingerprints as well same thing you will have the same kind of problems in iris scan and fingerprints as well it will show all okay over here but it will show fail on top okay hyderabad bangalore are you okay with the photograph the fingerprints yes sir questions now bangalore what is the procedure to be followed for the review screen supposing i come here and everything is filled up demographic is also ticked suppose yeah what do you have to do here uh, we will ask the resident to verify whether the details uh, what we have typed is proper without any spelling mistake both uh, as okay. as english and in the lo in and and uh, as a local language uh, if he okay. says uh, gives us consent that uh, yeah everything is okay then uh, the operator or the supervisors uh, gives us uh -huh. come for uh, confirmation got it got it okay so is a confirmation needed all the time yeah after finishing Configure? each enrollment yeah after uh, finishing each enrollment uh, the operator or supervisor confirmation is uh, must and should to complete the enrollment process chandigarh aap log kya bolte ho agar har koi har koi enrollment ke liye operator aur supervisor ka uh, confirmation zaruri hai chandigarh uh, hello yeah सर uh, uh, जो एक्सेप्शनल केस है उसमें सुपरवाइजर का वेरिफिकेशन जरूरी है बाकी ऑपरेटर ऑपरेटर विल कंफर्म ओनली इन एक्सेप्शनल केसेस सुपरवाइजर विल कंफर्म वॉट एक्सेप्शनल केसेस hello yeah which exceptional cases uh, right missing uh, jo biometrics mein jo dikkat aayegi ki uh, fingers missing hai sirf supervisor ki usi mein confirmation chahiye hogi baki mein to operators hi karega um uh, the trainer over there in chandigarh can you please translate this in english hello yeah i can hear you now please translate that in english right, he please. said right the person said that the confirmation is required only in the case of when the exceptional cases are there right when the normal cases are there uh, only operator confirms but if there is any exception uh, right uh, finger missing or eye missing then supervisor is required bangalore are you clear on this here in on a, every five five operators uh, one supervisor is allotted 
Okay. Now that depends on the yeah that is the standard, but uh, again it depends from enrollment center to enrollment center. It depends you know how many uh, residents are there. Let us say in one particular enrollment center there are a lot of residents, so maybe we will need more than one supervisor per five uh, uh, operators. So that is really we can't just stress that this is a guideline which has been given, but uh, definitely we can't stress. Yeah, Bangalore and Hyderabad. Did you, you get that? When is the yes, confirmation needed? Yes, okay. Sir. okay. Bangalore. Yep. There is also something called an introducer confirmation. What do you mean by that? Yeah. Introducer confirmation is uh, when the introducer has introduced that resident by giving his uh, Aadhaar number or anything. Then uh, the introducer will give his thumb for confirmation. Yeah, this is uh, the resident so whom I have introduced. Time, Okay, so at the time of uh, uh, enrollment, the has to be there. So if there are 15 enrollments in a day, introducer has to sit in the enrollment center for 15, 15 enrollments. Is that what it is? No, if the, yeah, if the resident does not have any documents, then uh, the introducer is required there for confirmation. At that time, which means that if no. there are 20 residents without documents, so the introducer has to sit around till all 20 come in? No, no, no. There is an option in the confirmed review screen where at a time, okay. single time, uh, at a time, uh, the end of the day, the introducer can give us a confirmation for one at a time for all the residents who may have. Do you see that? There is a introducer later yes. option, right? Yes. Now, yes, sir. apart from this, if I select head of the family, if I select head of the family and I go to review screen, do you see head of the family confirmation? Yeah. Yeah. This yes, cannot sir. be postponed. This has yeah. to be done now. This has to be done with that family. So the head of the family must be physically present at the time the rest of the uh, family members are being enrolled. Is that clear with Bangalore and Hyderabad and Chandigarh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, I hope there is absolutely no doubt in your mind that the supervisor does not uh, give confirmation for every single enrollment. He or she is needed only if there's a biometric exception. Is that clear? However, the operator's confirmation is needed after every single enrollment. So every packet is attached to the operator's confirmation, which also means that every operator is tracked at the CIDR level, at the UIDAI level. There is a quality team which sits and it tracks to see how many operators have made how many mistakes. And if an operator, and if we are in the in recent times we have blacklisted and blacklisted enrollment agencies. So ensure that an operator just does not put his fingerprint and think no one will listen, uh, no one will notice. We do notice. Random sampling is done and it is done by human beings. So it is absolutely possible to find out, locate which operator has fed an incorrect data at what time in which enrollment center. And everybody is going to be penalized that way. Got it? So this I have to stress again and again because this is something which has come up. Okay, the time now is 4 o'clock. Let's take a break for 15 minutes. Let's come back at 4.15. When we come back, we will continue with a few slides. And also, by now, uh, has the Bangalore team and the Hyderabad team, have you got the data that I sent you? There are some books that I sent you. Have you guys got it? The Bangalore team and the Hyderabad team, as well as the Chandigarh team. Uh, one more problem spelling, sir. Just still copying. Okay, is that Chandigarh or is that Bangalore? It is Hyderabad. Hyderabad. Okay. Yeah. Please copy the stuff because there's a lot of stuff that I've given you, and those things have not yet been uploaded on the UIDI site. Right. So we have just made it at CMC. And if you find any errors. As I mentioned in the beginning, I have worked with CMC for 
courseway development and i am obviously in touch with them uh, since the beginning so uh, do tell me if there are some improvements that you would need in the courseware and so on and so forth i'll pass on the message and in all probability i'll work on it myself as well is that clear so let's come back at 4:15 it's 4 o'clock right now let's go for a break